Thank you. <laughs> Willie Shelkoff. It's my distinct pleasure to be here tonight to induct Willie Shelkoff into Buffalo, New York's Music Hall of Fame. And I'm so honored, Willie, that you asked me to do this for you. In my teens, I would hang out with uh, our mutual buddy, Charlie O'Neill. And, uh, and he would always talk about this friend of his who um, he grew up with that sang and played guitar. And finally, on, uh, in 1973, I met Willie. He'd uh, just come back from college, I believe. And, uh, you know, <laughs> Sienna College, yes, sir. A couple other Sienna guys out there? I thought so. I'm thrilled to say that we've been friends ever since that day. We've had many great times together on and off the bandstand, as I remember. I have great memories of singing at his wedding to his lifelong soulmate, Ms. Colette McCann Shelkoff. Love you, darling. And by the way, they are celebrating their 35th wedding anniversary, October 16th. The one thing you notice about Willie when you meet him is that uh, family and friends are really the driving force in his life. Uh, he's from South Buffalo, as you might know. A very close-knit community where friendships and camaraderie seem to last for a lifetime. He and Colette have amassed a huge circle of friends in the music community and in their professional and private lives. So in my search for adjectives tonight uh, to describe Willie, to those of you who might not know him, I came up with a few that I've noticed over the years that uh, seem to fit him well. Talented. The man can sing. One of the greatest singers I've ever heard in my life. He can play the guitar like nobody's business. Intelligent. Kind. Warm. Dedicated. Selfless, loyal, Buzzy. caring, <laughs> grounded, uh, you know, he's a real gentle man. Right. So as for Willie's musical talents, uh, there's, you know, there's, there's a lot that goes into being a great musician. Talent, dedication, attitude, willingness to be open to ideas and the ability to come up with your own ideas. He's got them both. I can tell you from first-hand experience that he epitomizes the perfect bandmate. He shows up with no ego, 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 but sometimes with a six-pack, which is good. Usually Heineken, right? And, um, and he says, first thing, what can I do to make this better? How can I help you? How can I help this song? He's there to make great music with you and have fun doing it. And you know, I've never played a gig with Willie that we haven't looked at each other and shared a smile that kind of says, man, I'm so glad we're here right now doing this. Yeah. Never, every gig I've ever played with him, it's got that vibe. And you know, I'm, not, I'm certainly not the only guy that uh, that's, he shared that smile with over the years. He has a great ability to make you feel comfortable and supported when you're playing music together. And how much more can you ask for? So maybe that's why so many people want to work with him. It's hard to get a date with Willie these days. Here's a list of a few of the bands that, uh, and people that uh, Willie has made better by his presence and contributions. See if you recognize any of these. The Poor Souls. The Blue Ox Band, All right. Old Salt, The Chuck and Bill Show, Woo! Argyle Street Band, The Acapella Group, Shoebops with Phil Dillon and Sheila Carlson. She, uh, let's see, The Thirds, yeah! Billy and the Heartbeats, The Stonebridge Band, Woo! The Willie and Doug Duo, The Low Blue Flame, right. Crystal Blue with Harry Stewart and Rosary, the Acapellants, 
<laughs> I just learned that name the other day. That's his acapella lawyers group. Because you know he is the blues barrister. All right. The more bells. The Gretchen and Doug band. And finally, finally he stepped into the band leader's shoes with his own band, the Willies. I couldn't be more proud to know him and to have shared so much with him over many years. Ladies and gentlemen, he may be from South Buffalo, but all of Buffalo treasures him. Please help me welcome to help help me welcome him to the Buffalo Music Hall of Fame. Mr. Willie Shelkoff. said yes to more of the gigs that you offered me. <laughs> you know, what? No. <laughs> hey, Doug, give him the statue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's a statue? Two of them. I knew I'd forget something. Willie, I'd like to present this beautiful statue to you. Congratulations. think of stuff to say up here to uh, properly thank everybody and I couldn't help remembering the words of the great Art Kubera I was here when he uh, was inducted several years ago his acceptance speech kept popping into my brain he looked at the statute and he said I said statute didn't I the, sta the statute and he said, I would like to thank, where am I? <laughs> well, <laughs> as it turns out, there's really no way you could possibly thank everybody who uh, was involved in a musical career. But I'm going to try to acknowledge a couple. First of all, family and friends, thank you all so much for coming out tonight. How much this means to all the inductees to have that much support. Especially in light of game five of the ALDS. Anybody know what the score is out there? Two nothing in the fourth. Two nothing. That's right. right. Okay, well, I shouldn't ask. Sorry. the money? My mom, who was the recognized source of musical talent in our family, she gave us all the inspiration we needed to do, all the stuff we needed to do. She also gave me a lot of grief about sneaking out on school nights to play in the garage bands. But I like to think she's looking down right now and smiling. Daddy! My dad, who just turned 95 on Sunday, wow. I'll tell you what, I'm also a major source of inspiration. He's always been very, very proud of everything his kids have done. My buddy Phil Dillon down in Nashville, who uh, was kind enough to get my credentials together for this. Of course, everybody in the Hall of Fame, they're doing such a great job here tonight. This is a great event and uh, means a lot to all the inductees, all the members, and all of you. Thank you so much for coming. But uh, to tell you the truth, there's really only one person that needs to be properly thanked. and. That's my wife of 35 years, Colette. I don't think I've ever had a more appropriate opportunity to do it in public. For some reason, still unknown to me. She's hung in there for all the craziness, cross-country moves, long road trips, late-night gigs, rehearsals, reunions, rambles. Rants, <laughs> and she supported my efforts here as a musician at every turn. And all of a sudden, now we celebrate 35 years. Well, 
there's a legacy worth enshrining right there. Thank you so much, Colette. I love you. Now let's have some songs, okay? How about that? Right. Ladies and gentlemen, the low blue flame, Robbie Lynch on the drums. Didn't you just get inducted? Once and future Hall of Famer, Steve Sadoff, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you what, one of my longest musical friends and one of the best bass players I've ever heard in my life anywhere. You got it. He needs to be up here next year. Steve Sadoff. And you know Doug, what do you hear him play? Thanks a lot. I gotta mention that uh, the guitar I'm holding, I, I'm very pri privileged to be holding it. It's not one I'm familiar with playing. The, the neck's a little too skinny for me to tell you the truth, but it's Charlie O'Neill's 1969 rectangle neck Gibson ES-335 autumn sunburst <laughs> that Doug was at his house the day it arrived in 1969. He bought it brand new for $375. I'm offering $800 for it right now. <laughs> it's a true honor to be up here being inducted with my longtime friend and musical soulmate, Charlie O'Neill. I can't tell you how cool it is that we're both going in on the same day. Love you, Charlie. I think we'll start with one of my tunes, how about that? <laughs>
taught my bird how to whistle. She flies around singing the blues. I taught my dog how to talk. I caught him lying to me.
Charlie's tunes. It's the one his, uh, his family sort of latched on as, as their, their theme to make it through the rest of this difficult life that we all have to face from time to time. It's called Pass It On.
Ladies and gentlemen, our next inductee is Sam Garino.